Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, is I'm gonna show you how to make your DIY aesthetic laptop stickers and DIY keyboard skin. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, so for the first DIY is we're gonna make some aesthetic stickers. So first thing you're gonna do is find uh, some stickers and I'm gonna link her account in the description box so you can check her stickers. So I got my stickers on her account, Lauren, and I just search aesthetic stickers or it depends on what is your theme. So after you got some stickers, just open Microsoft Word and insert the photos on the document. So here I'm just resizing and uh, cropping some photos and uh, resizing on how big I want it to be. In this part, it depends on you and how big you want your stickers. So I believe this is about 3 inches, 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 inches. I'm gonna link also down below the stickers that I got and I'm gonna put it on the Google Drive so you can check it out. So after you edit those pictures, just print them on a sticker paper. So after you print those is, you're just gonna cut them. After I cut my stickers, I'm just gonna put some scotch tape. And after putting on some scotch tape is, I'm just gonna trim the edges. And in here, after I cut those stickers, I'm just gonna lay out it on my laptop. And also, don't forget to put some scotch tape after you cut the stickers and just peel off the back part and stick it on your laptop. As you can see here, as I peel the sticker, there is no sticker residue and that is because my laptop has this matte finish. But I think it still depends on the sticker paper that you're gonna use if it will leave a residue or not. So this may sound ironic but choose the less sticky sticker paper if that makes sense. So avoid using those sticker papers that has a strong adhesive because it may leave some sticker residue on your laptop. So for a second aesthetic DIY is we're gonna make some keyboard skin. So for the first step that you're gonna do is find your keyboard. So like for example if you have a MacBook, just search some MacBook keyboard and save some photos. But since I use Asus laptop, I'm gonna find an image of the keyboard and we'll save it. And after that is just find some aesthetic wallpaper. So you can choose whatever pictures you want to be placed on your keyboard scheme. So I just use this marble picture and in here I'm gonna open an online photo editor. But if you have Adobe Photoshop, you can use it also. So in here I just open PixLR and I'm gonna link this down below in the description box. So in here I'm just gonna open an image and I'm gonna click the keyboard photo. Next is I'm just gonna add another layer and insert the photo of the marble. So here I'm just resizing the photo. And then here I'm gonna crop the keyboard so that it will fit to the sticker paper. And by the way, I use here an A4 sticker paper. So in here, I'm just gonna click the layer of the keyboard and I'm gonna click invert so that the letters of the keyboard will be color black. And then here, we're just gonna click the keyboard and adjusting some contrast, highlights, and so on. So if you're happy with the result, just download the photo. And in here, I'm 
just gonna adjust again the other side of the keyboard and as well as the photo then just download it So next is I'm going to open the Microsoft Word and insert the photo. So in here, I just measured my keyboard and just eyeballing it. So I'm just going to adjust the size and if you're happy already with the, with the results, just print it. So after I print those stickers, I just place a scotch tape or if you have this transparent sticker paper, you can use it also. But if you don't have, just use a scotch tape and it is much easier if you're gonna use the wider one. So after you place the tape, is just scrape it. So after you scrape the scotch tape to the sticker paper, and this is the fun part, you have to cut the sticker individually. It might take you 25 to 40 minutes, it depends on how fast you will cut it. And after you cut, just place it on your keyboard. If you have small adjustments, just use a scissors and cut those. Just peel off the back part and stick it on the laptop. And this is how it looks like. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. So thank you so much guys for watching and so see you on my next video.